What's up everyone, it's Dr. Andrew. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a simple thing you can do to help with avoiding back pain. Okay, so I gotta be honest. A lot of you are not using your glute muscles enough when you're performing regular activities or even exercises in the gym. So let me explain that a little bit. Your glute muscles are these muscles right here in your, in, in your bottom, obviously, okay? And they attach your legs to your trunk, okay? They attach to this pelvic girdle right here and then they attach down here on the femur. So when you have a muscle that spans over a big joint like that, that muscle is in charge of controlling the motion at that, at that joint. So when we bend down and when we stand up, the glute muscles are the muscles that we should be using a lot to perform that motion. But what the problem is, is that a lot of y'all are using your back muscles too much to, to do those things. For example, if you want to bend over and pick something up off the ground, a lot of people are bending from the back Okay, and then using these muscles right here, the erector spinae and other muscles, the, the um, quadratus lumborum, other muscles to perform that movement. But in reality, the glute muscles are the muscles that are in charge of performing that motion. Okay, so if we contract our glute muscles and then lean down and then come back up and we're contracting the glute muscles and using those muscles every time we do that, then you're gonna be using the proper muscles and you're gonna be avoiding pain in this low back area. So I see this too with people in the gym when they're doing lifts, deadlifts, um, straight leg deadlifts, even squats, other things. They're not really contracting their glute muscles. They're just coming down. They're, they're probably trying to rely too much on their abs to keep their back tight. But really the glute muscles are the primary muscles that, are, that you're gonna use to perform these motions where you bend at the trunk. So I see this a lot with my patients as well. I get them to try to contract their glutes before they do squats, before they even stand on one foot, before they bend over to pick something up. And there's just not really anything happening back there. They don't know how to fire those glute muscles. So what I wanna to do today is show you how to fire your glute muscles. So an easy way to do that is to put your thumbs right here in your, in your glutes, okay, right where your back pocket normally is, okay, right there, and then just squeeze your glutes, okay? If you've seen that scene in Nacho Libre where he's up against the wall and then he tightens his bottom, that's what we're doing, okay? You wanna tighten that bottom. So put your thumbs right here in your, in your bottom and then just tighten it, okay? And if you can feel that contraction firing, then that's great, okay? You're getting a good contraction of the glute muscles. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that that contraction stays when you're doing squats. So let's do a squat, okay, with our hands right here and so you're gonna squeeze the glutes and then bend down like this, okay, and then come back up. And the entire time you should be feeling that muscle contracting. So in order to make sure that that muscle is contracting the entire time, what you wanna do is we're bending at the hips, okay, where the femur attaches to the pelvis, and we're not bending at the low back. Because if you bend at the low back, you're not contracting your glutes. So keep your, keep your low back, um, keep that natural curve in the low back Okay, keep it right here, and then you're bending at the hips, and you're poking the bottom backwards, okay? And as long as you contract your glutes while you're doing that, then you're gonna keep a lot of tension, a lot of pressure, and you're gonna avoid pain in the low back. So to sum up what we've talked about, it's very important to contract your glute muscles when we're doing exercises, when we're bending down to pick something up, because those glute muscles are the link between the lower body and the trunk. And as we all know, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. So if your glutes are very weak, then your back is gonna be doing most of the lifting and then you're gonna to have tons of issues and tons of pain. Thanks for watching this video. If you have a question, please leave a comment. I love talking about this area of the body because it is so important to try to avoid back pain. You gotta use your glute muscles to perform everyday activities. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.